Alright guys, I'm going to do an unboxing of the AMD FX 4100. This is the um, bottom of the line from AMD, but it's still a decent CPU. This is a temporary that I just got until the uh, pile driver CPUs come out in a couple months. It was 110, which is not, that's actually really cheap for a CPU. So we slide out our little tray that actually contains the CPU, and there's our CPU, and we get an AMD FX sticker. Little case badge if you wanted to use that. And all the pins are back here. I'm going to leave this in here until I'm ready to do the install because the last thing that I ever want to do is bend one of those pins. Please read this first important prior to installing your CPU. Please go to your motherboard manufacturer's website and download the latest motherboard BIOS. Yada yada. Okay, so they want you to have your updated BIOS. <sighs> Instruction manual on how the AMD socket works. And our stock cooler. Now, the, my previous video, I did an unboxing of the Cooler Master uh, Hyper 212 Plus, so I won't be using this, but let's just take a quick peek at it. There's nothing really wrong with it, it's just really basic, and, um, you know, you can't really overclock with it and stuff. And this just popped off. Interesting. But, we've got some thermal compound on the bottom. It's just a aluminum heat sink with a little fan on here, and it's... Um, hmm, I'm going to sacrifice my cooler. Actually, let's see if this will come off or not. But there's a sticker over a sticker. So I think these fans might be made by somebody else, and they're just trying to rebadge them, and they can't even center the sticker. Okay, anyways, I can't get that off, because I really don't have a whole heck of a lot of fingernail. But... That's your stock cooler if you're going to use it. It's a four pin PWM controlled fan header if you want to use that. Um, I would honestly recommend that either get a really nice aftermarket cooler if you're, you know, if you're going to do a lot of overclocking or even if you're just going to use it as is, still head out and like if you're just going to use it kind of basic or just slight overclocking, the Cooler Master 212s will do you just fine. And you can either water cool or get like a D14 if you're going to do extreme overclocking or something like that. But I mean, if this is for just internet browsing or something, and just basic stuff like that, this will do more than fine. So, um, alright guys, I think that's it for this video. There's not a whole heck of a lot you can say about a, about a processor. But thank you guys for watching. Please uh, click the like button. Maybe leave me a comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next videos.